Welcome to Electron Online, and let's first start with some, some examples of how to simplify expressions with radicals. So here, our first example, we have a radical numerator, radical in denominator. It's the same root, which means we can combine them. We can write it like this. This is equal to the square root of 512 divided by 2, which is equal to the square root of 256. Now, you may not right away realize that the square root of 256 is equal to 16. And I think that's what it is. But what if you don't? Well, what you could do here is you go to the side, you take the number 256 and divide it by the smallest prime number, which is 2. That gives you 128. Divided by the smallest prime number 2 gives you 64. Divided by 2 gives you uh, 32. Divided by 2 gives you 16. Divided by 2 gives you 8. Divided by 2 gives you 4. Divided by 2 gives you 2. Which means 256 can be written as 2 raised to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 power. 2 to the 8 power. All right, which means that this can be written as the square root of 2 to the 8 power. And then you can say, well, this is equal to 2 to the 8 divided by 2 power, because now we write it as a fractional exponent, which means that this is equal to 2 to the 4th power, and that is indeed 16. And so that's the answer. So that's a Nice way to go ahead and make sure that the square root of 256 is indeed 16. Okay, when you see something like this, what you want to do is go ahead and maybe write this as a fractional exponent. So this can be written as 8 to uh, the cube root of 8, like that, times the fourth root of 81. So you can write it like that, or you can simply leave it like that, and you can also say, well, this is equal to the cube root of 2 cube because 8 of course is 2 cube and you can write this times the fourth root of 81 can be written as 3 to the fourth power and then you realize if the exponent is the same as the root you can simply just take the symbol away same here exponent equal to root you take the symbol away so this can be written as 2 times 3 which is equal to 6 Okay, here what you can do is write it as follows. This can be written as the cube root of 16, can be written as 2 to the 4th power, times x to the 4th power, oop, let me, yeah, x to the 5th power, let me first write it like this, x to the 5th power, y to the 4th power, times z. So first we wrote 16 as 2 to the 4th power. Now what you can also do is write it as follows. This can be written as the cube root of 2 to the 3rd power times 2, times x to the third power times x squared, times y to the third power times y, times z. And so what you can then do is take out, out of the radical sign anything that's written to the third power because the cube root of something to the third power simply comes out of the radical. So this can then be written as 2 times x times y times the cube root of whatever is left, whatever you were not able to take outside the radical. That gives you a 2, an x squared, a y, and a z. So 2x squared, y, and a z. And that would then be the simplified form of that radical. Coming out over here, you can see, just like what we did here, you combine that, you can combine these two as well. This can be written as the square root of 50 times 2, which is equal to the square root of 100, which is equal to 10. That's an easy one especially if you remember this rule. And finally, when you have something like this, you can say, all right, this can be written as the, the cube root of, and I'm going to combine that, this is going to be x to the 2 minus 6 power by bringing the x to the 8 to the numerator. Oop, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is 2 minus 8. When I bring the x to the numerator, the exponent becomes negative, and then I have y to the 6th. And so this can be written as the cube root of x to the minus 6, y to the 6th, and finally, I can go ahead and then put the x to the minus 6 in the denominator. This can be written as a cube root of y to the 6 divided by x to the 6, which is equal to, since this is double, the exponent is double the root, we could then say, well, this makes that y squared divided by x squared. If you're not sure about the last step, what you can do instead, you can say, well, let's jump over that. You can say this is equal to the y to the 6 over 3 power divided by x to the 6 over 3 power. Use that rule. So the exponent is in the numerator, the root is in the denominator, and of course 6 divided by 3 is 2, so 
So this can be written as y squared divided by x squared, and of course you get the same answer. So sometimes it's just applying a particular rule that helps you figure out how to simplify it. And there may be many ways to get to the same answer. You just use whatever rule you can think of, whatever rule you're comfortable with. But here are some nice examples of how to take radical expressions and simplify them to their simplest form.